what am I, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? That's my finger. That's my finger. This is bad. This is not a good choice. So a few videos back, I did a wolf spider unboxing from Frank and he surprised me with exactly what I did not want, which is this Huntsman spider. The reason why I don't necessarily love working with Huntsman is because they're very fast, they're arboreal, they are literally among probably the fastest spider in the world. Yeah, they're basically known to teleport. So anyway, when Frank surprised me with this, he let me know that he sent me something arboreal and I said, okay, well, I want like to kind of get an idea of what it is so I can set up an enclosure and you know he said something like eight inches would work or something. Frank I think we're a couple inches off because this this is not gonna work. <laughs> I mean it's been working for now. I mean you can get a good look and you can see her right there but yeah so this is just not gonna be like a long-term option for her. I had a few people ask in the video if I'm going to be keeping her in this enclosure and no I probably should have said hey I you know will be rehousing her. It was just a matter of when I could get the enclosure and everything so also I was kind of curious to see if she'd lay an egg sack. She hasn't so so that's good but um, hopefully she doesn't she's been eating great though so we'll see but yeah so anyway I wanted to wait until I got like the perfect enclosure for her which tarantula cribs so graciously provided for the video thank you guys so much and as you know I am a tarantula cribs affiliate you can use my affiliate code cat 10 and save 10% and it also helps out my channel but yes they supplied the like the perfect enclosure this is the extra large tarantula cribs treehouse enclosure I also asked Tarantula Cribs to give me a mesh lid. This is a very fine, soft mesh. That's specifically why I wanted the switch enclosure for this because it's just like this really soft mesh and this will work really well. If you didn't know the way that Huntsmen molt, they like hang and stuff. So this would actually be like perfect for a Huntsman. The mesh works very well for Huntsmen. But yeah, I would say this is quite the upgrade. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I'm. So here it is. Also, it has the removable back as well. I just wanted white. Okay, so I don't know if we're going to fish the spider out first or build this first. I think it'd probably be good to start building this. My approach here is pretty much going to vary by how this spider reacts to me messing around with it. If I could just reach in and pull this piece of cork bark out and just transfer the spider on the cork bark into the new enclosure that would be the ideal situation but the spider does get startled and when it does get startled it will literally run laps around this enclosure faster than i can process as a human so that's a little bit of a concern and if that's the case then what my other plan is is to basically fill this up you know with the dirt and you know, I could probably fit, I have a couple different pieces of cork to choose from and some plants, but I think I could actually also just fit this enclosure in here and poke it out and that way it's not gonna go too far, hopefully. So those are my two options. So I guess let's start off first by building this up a little bit and then we will try to see how the spider will react maybe. Uh, I don't know. We're just gonna see what happens as we go along. Also, again, I say this about switches every time I work with them, but they're one of my favorite enclosures to work with because you have access from the side and from the top. So when I'm working with very fast arboreals, especially like pokies and stuff, this is the ideal situation. I am gonna do live plants though. I want this enclosure to actually grow in and be kind of like a display enclosure. We're gonna kind of go that route and do some hydro balls. And that will just be like our drainage layer. I also have this like netting. This is just like a uh, screen door netting from like Ace Hardware. So we are going to cut it into uh, fitting this, which actually it looks like I used this for a different cube enclosure and it's like the same size. So all I really have to do, I don't even have to measure it out. I can just cut right here and that should work. So that's good. And running with scissors. Yeah. Now we are going to put in some reptile soil. Probably can just dump whatever's left in there. That's a lot of substrate for an arboreal, but I would like to get some isopods and stuff to make this like a fully bioactive setup. I actually went to the pet store before this, but they didn't have any isopods in right now, but I will, or I do plan on introducing them. So I wanted, you know, there to be like a lot of substrate and we have plants, we have plants to go with this. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna go, but I think probably something like this will be great. And see, I, if I can manage to take out this little piece of cork and put it in here, 
that would actually fit too. So I could actually put both. But anyway, I just wanted some options. So we have this one right here and this one, which is one of my favorite plants to use because these are pretty hard to kill and they don't ask for a lot. So I think I'll probably use this one today. Right back here. All right, and then we are going to water the plant. I always water the plant when I put it in, but when I don't show people that I watered the plant, everybody yells at me to water the plant. So plant has been watered. So yeah, I think we'll just do it like this. Question is though, will this enclosure fit in here if I have to do it that way? I don't think it will. I also have my favorite moss, which is the frog moss. I love this moss because it just looks so good and pillowy. See how nice that looks. Put it down here, make it look real nice, you know? All right. And I think this is pretty good. So I was gonna do like a cork round, but I decided to go with like this half cork because just in case she lays an egg sac, I need to see it. And getting a view inside the cork bark would probably be way more difficult. But yeah, I think this is way better, way more space. Anyway, I guess let's go ahead and try this. I'm really thinking though that she's not going to let me just pick her up. We can certainly do a little test real quick. All right. See, I don't think that this piece of cork I can easily just pick up, but maybe. Let's try this first. Oh, look, that's a nice big leaf I can just throw over there. Maybe. <laughs> Here's a nice little piece of spider wood I can also tuck in here. Ah, oh, I'm scared, I'm so scared. Let's get a good look at her before I possibly lose her. I can take a picture and put it on like a wanted poster. I mean, really a beautiful spider for sure. Just a little scary, look at her eyes. Didn't I give her like an eight out of 10 on the spookiness scale? Will we actually lower that today or raise that score? We'll see. But yeah, you can just see like how big she is in this and just imagine how it's gonna go in this gigantic switch enclosure. It's so much bigger. Let's see if I can just pick this up. I might be able to do that. And do it like this though. Got a good grip. No one breathe, no one move, no one say anything. Oh my God, I don't wanna put my finger next to her. So this is difficult. Oh my God, what am I, what am I doing? What am I doing, what am I doing? That's my finger, that's my finger, this is bad. This is not a good choice, not a good choice. We're not making good choices today, guys. Okay. Maybe we, <gasps> okay. We're like halfway there. What if she just walked forward instead of ran under this? Cause the other option is she's gonna run under this if I poked her. But like, what if you just like carefully nudged forward? No, I'm just panicking, it's okay. Okay, okay, she's moving. Yeah, look, there's a leaf. <gasps> there's a leaf, go on the leaf. Oh, yes, 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 there she goes, there she goes, okay. Look at that, oh man. Ah! Okay, yay, there she is. Oh wow, she looks great in this. Okay, that was, that was scary, but we did it and it's behind us now. She absolutely blends in with that cork bark too. Oh, yay. Ah, I rehoused a huntsman.
Okay, we did it. I did it. We did it. It's done. It's we Yay! So here it is, the new Huntsman enclosure, and I think it looks amazing. She's already back there. She already found a little spot she feels secure. She blends right into the cork bark. This is amazing. I do plan on adding some isopods to this and some springtails. Like I said, the pet store was just out of them, so I'll grab them next time. But I'm very happy about this. I really love her, and I hope that she does good in this for a while. By the way, I did name her Bumble. Somebody recommended that name, and I thought that was really cute. So her name is Bumble. So thank you so much, Tarantula Cribs, and thanks again and Frank Soma for surprising me with her even though I specifically asked not to but you know it is what it is <laughs> like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget I'm mean, Instagram videos probably way too much it's at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring it is all linked down below I will see you guys soon let's get into the Patreon pet picks